arithmetic and assignment operators. So we'll go ahead and start this one up. Now, in the last video I talked about the equal symbol and the plus symbol and that they have different uses. There's a mathematical use for the plus symbol and there's also or the uh, addition operator. There's also the ability to use that in concatenation when it comes to grouping strings together or bonding strings. So in this we're going to use six lines of code that they've already provided for us. They're just output statements or calling the print function. Each one's a concatenation just like before and they want us to write assignment statements here. So I'll go ahead and put some space in there, get the comments out of the way, and essentially they want us to calculate profit. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy it from here so that I have it exactly the way they want it. Sale price, I'll get it from here. And they also want sale profit. Now I'll go ahead and put a space after each one and an equal symbol. And I'm going to copy each one of those. I'm going to come up here after this wholesale price variable has been declared and initialized. I'm going to paste each one of those in there and I'm going to initialize them with a value of zero. So all of my variables have been declared and initialized together. I'm trying to keep things nice, clean, and orderly so that I see what's happening when and where and there's not much confusion can take place in here. I come here and I can Put a comment in here. Output statements. So I know here's where I've done my calculations to come up with profit, sale price, and sale profit. So they say profit is retail price minus wholesale price. Okay, copy, space, paste, retail price minus wholesale price. So that one's done. That's the calculation for profit. Now sale price. Sale price is 25% reduction in retail price. So let's take retail price. Let's take retail price minus from that previous line. So sale price is retail price minus minus what? And in parentheses, I'll paste that same block in there. Retail price times 0.25. Retail price times 0.25 is 25% of retail price. Retail price minus that 25% is sale price. So that got us where we needed to be there. This last one. Calculate the profit when the sale price is used as the sale price minus the wholesale price. Sales profit is sale price minus the wholesale price. Let's run this and see what we get. And over here to the left, 
should execute it and I should see item name TV stand matches retail price is 325 wholesale price is 200 profit is 125 sale price is 243 and sale profit is 43 now we went through we did everything the way that it's supposed to be done we have assigned new values to those variables declared initialized it's already been declared and initialized now we just reassigned or assigned a new value to that variable and then we used whatever was in those to output if it was a number we converted it or typecast it to become a string so that we could concatenate it and pass it to the print function okay let's test it see where we stand Cody says we're good to go one of one go ahead and grade it review I'm happy with it 100% submit it so we're good on that one so I'll see you in the next one